diseases of cucurbits so we will see the important diseases of cucurbits my name is N H Shankar Reddy and I am doing PhD plant pathology in Anamal University so these are all the list of important diseases in cucurbits so the first one is uh, powdery mildew which is caused by erysiphae cucurbitarum the new name is podospora xanthi so the second one is downy mildew which is caused by pseudopernospora cubensis and the next one is anthraconose which is caused by coltrotrichum laginarum and angular leaf spot which is caused by pseudomonas syringae pathovar lacrimans and wire stem which is caused by rhizoctonia solani and the last one is mosaic which is caused by cucumber mosaic virus so now we will see in detail about one by one so the first one is powdery mildew so which is caused by erysiphae cucurbitarum or cucurbitarum whatever you want to call so the new name is podospora xanthi so the name itself indicates powdery mildew on the right side we can see white color powdery growth can be seen on the surface of leaf if you see the field we can see we can clearly observe the white color or severe white color powdery growth or severe white color powdery coating can be seen on the upper surface especially if you see upper surface and we can also observe on lower surface also so in severe stages what will happen and uh, the severe uh, uh, powdery growth can be observed and you know chlorotic uh, 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 chlorotic appearance in later stages are dying of leaf I mean uh, uh, slowly it will start to uh, die and you know uh, in in, uh, shoots also get infected I mean uh, the powdery growth can also cover the shoots and affected plants completely become stunted we can see here if you see here on the uh, on the I mean field view so uh, the, in, in the front field view see if you see the plants the I mean uh, powdery mildew uh, affected plants are stunted you know so uh, we can see here powdery mildew plants are stunted I mean you see here powdery growth color can be stunted here so the size and quality of the fruit also get be affected by this uh, uh, powder mildew because you know uh, 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 if, it, if it covers the entire uh, uh, leaf uh, respiration and transpiration activity also get, uh, get uh, I mean uh, that is get reduced so that what will ha actually happen so due to reduction of uh, transpiration and evaporation rate and there might be chance of reduction of quality and as well as the fruit quality and the size of the fruit also can be reduced so coming to the pathogen here uh, uh, this clistothecia we know very well that you know a powdery mildew which is uh, produce a clistothecia type which is uh, where the uh, uh, ascus is packed inside so here it consists of 10 to 15 type of uh, ascus each contains uh, 2 to 3 uh, ascospores here it comes to mode of spread is mainly through you know that you know uh, uh, powdery mildew are mainly airborne uh, it survives in uh, collateral host hope you guys will know what is collateral host alternate host means which is a host which is of uh, other family uh, let me give an example rice is a one family uh, let us consider if we it is one family so uh, the alternate host of uh, wheat stem rust is barberry which is completely of different family okay here it comes to collateral host collateral host is the host where it belongs to the same family of host let me give an example if you take the you know, uh, rice blast uh, so the collateral host are the alternative host the other name of collateral host is alternative host so if you take the collateral host the alternative host let's say exandra which is a grass species which is almost uh, 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 equal to uh, rice uh, rice species i mean uh, rice family all those you know uh, uh, so same host families so here uh, uh, the conidia can survive in dormant mycelium but the mainly uh, the mode of spread is uh, airborne conidia so coming to the management aspects uh, trying uh, spaying uh, tridomorph it is a very 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 important and a specific fungicide that can be recommended for powdery mildews so spraying of tridomorph at the rate of 0.05% or uh, thiophenate methyl at the rate of 0.05% or dinocap 0.1% can reduce the incidence if you ask me so tridomorph and dinocap are the most uh, uh, I think dinocap comes under carotene group of fungicides. So these two fungicides, I mean tridomorph and dinocap are uh, especially recommended for almost all powdery mildews because if you use uh, sulfur related fungicides, so the sulfur fungicides which can absorb the water content present in the fruits so that uh, uh, for water, I mean watermelon or you can take almost all cucurbitaceae crops, we can't recommend sulfur fungicide. The only reason is if you apply sulfur, it can absorb the water content present in the fruits. We know very well that, you know, um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, you know uh, the major portion of uh uh, almost cucurbits contains uh, uh, nine, almost 90 to 95 percent of the if you take watermelon or if you take whatever the muskmelon or if you take whatever the uh, uh, cucurbits uh, uh, crops almost 95 to 98 percent it contains water so if you apply sulfur it can it can absorb the water so that the fruit like look like to shrinking or sometimes something like you know uh, uh, desiccated something uh, like uh, look like that so that it can uh, uh, can't fetch a good marketing price so that we can't uh, apply sulfur related fungicide especially for cucurbitaceae crops 
So coming to the next disease that is the Downy mildew uh, which is caused by Pseudospermospora cubensis. So the name itself indicates Downy. Downy means so in the upper surface we can see on the right side. Uh, uh, we can see here on the right side. So we can see alternate green and yellow patches, right? So the first symptoms is the major symptom is pale green and uh, island like symptoms can be seen on the leaf. If you see here, pale green and island, uh, we can see. So pale green and uh, what is it? Sorry. Uh, uh, green and island like symptoms can be seen here usually the spots are angular if you if you clearly observe the spots are look like to angular in a severe stage what actually will happen this all uh, small small spots coalizes and it can uh, uh, it can completely look like yellow uh, yellow like uh, uh, appearance on the upper surface if you see the lower surface uh, you know a uh, downy growth of the fungus can be clearly seen so downy growth of the fungus can be clearly observed and in later stages what will happen uh, you know drying of the leaf or dying of leaf and falling of leaves can be we can observe and then one more thing that we can what we observed is uh, so due to this uh, uh, downy mildew uh, what will happen the plant size i mean uh, uh, which means uh, plant height uh, plant height can be reduced to production of uh, low quality fruits as well as uh, in later stages what will have a stunting and death of the plants so coming to the management aspects crop rotation and destruction of weed host is advised and we can also go with the seed treatment with the seed treatment fungicides and we can also apply mango zip 0.2 percent uh, spraying at a 10 days intervals or ridomil mz 72 i mean uh, uh, that was the you know uh, maybe i think also concentration uh, uh, 72 uh, mz 72 and 0 0.3 at the 0 0.3 percent concentration at the 30 days uh, interval I, I think 72 percent is the active ingredient i think so so interval uh, that can control the decision and uh, we can also uh, go with the uh, copper related fungicides so the next one is leaf spot which is caused by Sarcospora species. The name itself indicates leaf spots. So on the right side we can see uh, small spots or water soaked spots can be initially appeared on the upper surface of the leaf. Later what will happen these small spots coalizes and the spots uh, in later stages look like very big and concentric uh, uh, slightly look like concentric but it's not the original concentric. Uh, so in alternate area disease we can clearly observe the uh, uh, concentric rings but in a Sarcospora we can uh, slightly observe but the, here the spot here the spots uh, uh, if you see the spots the spots actually look like you know a gray or dark uh, uh, brown in color so initially what will happen small spots will appear in later stages what will happen if you can't control or if you can't uh, uh, apply any management practices so what will happen it will uh, the spots slowly starts to increase and it will, uh, the way big spots uh, uh, can be appeared on the surface of leaf so for coming to the management aspects we can go with the application of a mango 0.2 percent at fortnight interval that can control the disease so coming to the next one anthrocnose which is caused by coltrotrichum lagenarium so mostly anthrocnose is mostly caused by uh, coltrotrichum species so we know very well that the major uh, constant i mean the major uh, uh, complicated or more major important symptom of anthrocnose if we see whatever the surface the anthrocnose that affects maybe uh, uh, maybe plant parts like you know a leaf or maybe like a fruits if you see here we can see the cucumber so here the major affected leaves or affected fruits we can see initially minute block dot like appearance so my cursor is my cursor was not working so that i can't able to show you sorry for that and here if you see in the in the leaf if you if you see uh, yes if you see here small black minute dot block like i mean dot uh, 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 dot like uh, fruiting structures can be seen the fruiting structures are acervulae so here the anthrocnose are the coltrotrichum uh, that can produce acervulae where the spores are produced from acervulae is the uh, fruiting body uh, wh wh what can i say that you know fruiting body is the simply like a structure where it can produce the spores so uh, the, the, it produces the fruiting body that is called acervulae so the production of acervulae is a characteristic identification of a coltrotrichum species whatever the species that you can take the mostly uh, the coltrotrichum will produce acervulae so if you see the uh, uh, symptoms on uh, fruits also the same type of symptoms like you know uh, small initially small dot like uh, substance initially i think it's a look like you know brown or you know uh, uh, a little little uh, not brown or not green something like that in between uh, 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 brown and green you know see if you see so this also if you see in microscope you can also see the acerola here uh, and the pinkish mass of spores also can be observed on the later stages in severe cases what will happen a block dot are completely a big big block dots can be seen on the infected parts like you know leaves as well as fruits also so initially the spots are uh, very small in later stages what will happen the all spots are coalizes and look like very big spots i think you if you see uh, uh, the earlier powerpoint presentation in mango that you can clearly observe how uh, typical anthrocnose can look like and we can uh, we can observe you know if you see in a mango if block dot or black you know it simply look like a black hole a very block dot like substance that can be seen on a yellow fruit so that is a typical symptom of or typical appearance of a anthrocnose that is coltrotrichum 
So coming to the management aspects, uh, seed treatment with a theorem or cap down at the rate of 4 gram per kilogram of seeds and uh, spraying of uh, mango zip at the rate of 0.2 percent at a fortnight interval can be recommended to control this disease. So coming to the last one, mosaic, which is caused by cucumber mosaic virus. So coming to the symptoms, a virus is distributed, which is a uh, mosaic is a distributed worldwide appearance. So I don't want to go through all the, uh, sorry, uh, so I don't want to go through all the, uh, 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 say, I mean, symptoms, all those things, but I would like to explain some important symptoms. The so name itself indicates mosaic, which means uh, uh, alternate green and dark patches, uh, uh, dark, dark patches, can, uh, patches can be seen, like simply discoloration of leaves, simply we can say discoloration of leaves. So uh, it look, if you see the leaves partially green and as well as partially yellow, that is the characteristic symptom as a major symptom of uh, almost all mosaic diseases so in a severe cases what will happen the leaves are mottled and uh, alternate uh, uh, you know bright dark or uh, dark green patches can be clearly observed on the leaf if you see on the left side if you see on the left side so uh, yes because i was working right now let me show you so if you see on the uh, left side so here the plants are uh, on the right side we can see the plants are stunted so uh, stunted plants as well as the uh, yellowing of uh, uh, leaves if you see the fruits we can see the bumpy portions we can see here let me show you if we can see the bumpy portions see here bumpy portions can be seen simply like it look like a psoriasis like so if you see this type of fruits we can't able to, we can't feel to eat uh, i mean uh, we can't uh, uh, we can't get the mood to eat uh, uh, this type of fruit so it simply like it look like a psoriasis or something like that so it, it, it is also uh, avoid, i mean it can also uh, reduces the market price as well as you know uh, uh, in later stages what will happen the entire fruit slowly starts to convert into white color so uh, due to that what will happen you know uh, it completely uh, escapes from the market i mean uh, it completely uh, out of uh, market uh, uh, you know uh, uh, fetching the good market price you know so coming to the mode of spread and survival it is transmitted by mechanical inoculation and uh, insect vectors like aphis uh, gossipi and uh, mises persicae are the two vectors which are involved in the transmission of the disease if you see here this is uh, aphis gossipi and uh, mises persicae these two species are involved in transmission of this mosaic disease so coming to the management aspect so which is this is a viral disease so if we control the vectors then we can automatically control the disease so the vector here is the virus is readily transmitted by aphids and survives in a wide variety of plants what we have to do here is a varietal resistance is the primary management tool so for so for viral diseases we can better go with the uh, 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 resistance i mean creating resistance as well as uh, uh, you know spraying of insecticide also will give uh, uh, fruitful results but i suggest you to go with the uh, uh, creating a strong resistance will be very better if you rather than going for uh, uh, rather than recommending for uh, insecticides for for uh, 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 for the particular uh, to escalate the particular conditions that we can go for uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, we can recommend uh, uh, insecticides but for long lasting results i suggest to go with uh, creating resistance so and eliminating the weeds or perennial uh, ornamental plants which are uh, nearby them that also can harbor the virus so that's better to eliminate all the uh, unnecessary weeds if was there in our field and the final we can go with the spraying of monocrotopus at the rate of 1.5 mr per liter so it is a very concentrated uh, insecticide so that we can uh, suggest you to go with a low concentration i suggest you to go with 1 ml per liter of water uh, can uh, uh, inhibit or restricts the spread of the virus so this uh, this is all about uh, watermelon